Hello and welcome to the Times Now Amazing Indian Awards 2023. It is an annual celebration of unsung heroes who are determined to work for their ideas to become a reality. These people have a brave vision and the steely will to defy all odds to create a better world. In this episode, we'll take you through the stories of these supermen whose selfless service has uplifted lakhs of Indians so far. Once the esteemed jury shortlisted the nominees, the winners came through after a tough selection process. We start with the category of agriculture. One person's solution to a difficult farming problem set the stage for a breakthrough. He is Dr. Jayakumar Karupaswamy. Let's know more about his trolley mounted farm machinery. It all started with a sharp observation about the idle hill farmlands and farming difficulties in the northeastern state of Sikkim. While serving in various capacities as an IAS officer and in his last stint with the Sikkim Governor Secretariat, Dr. Jayakumar Karupuswami identified the problems being faced by farmers in hilly areas. हम तो सिक्किम आप जानते हैं तो हम तो सिक्किम कार्डर हैं तो हम सिविल सर्विस में थे हमारा सर्विस में हमने देखा कि गांव में जब जाते हैं तो भाड़ इलाका है नॉर्थ ईस्ट पूरा तो फार्म लैंड तो ज़्यादा मतलब एक्सटेंसिव लैंड तो नहीं है वो स्टीप स्लोप में तो बहुत नीचे भी हो सकता है ट्रैक्टर वगैरह उधर जा नहीं सकता है तो बहुत सारा जगह में इट्स इनएक्सेसिबल एरिया इसलिए हमने सोचा तो मैकेनाइजेशन तो जरूरी है तो मैकेनाइजेशन का तो टेक्नोलॉजी का प्रयोग करने से एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ जाता है मोर लैंड कैन बी ब्रॉट अंडर कल्टिवेशन एंड जो लैंड फर्टाइल नहीं है उसको फर्टाइल बना सकते हैं अब तो मैंने सोचा ठीक है एक तो डिज़ाइन कर ही लेते हैं Uh, I started creating a machine which can possibly uh, serve as a machine which can be used in northeast areas. After months of ideation and experimentation, a fully developed product was manufactured. Dr. Jay Kumar's trolley mounted multipurpose farming machine technology is now set to promote farm mechanization in small farms, hilly or difficult to access terrains. Dr Jay Kumar who was determined to pursue his idea is now on the cusp of a minor revolution in the field of hill farming a machine which uh, should attract the youth and it should be multifunctional it should serve a useful purpose it should be portable it should be uh, designed in such a way that it can be carried in a knock down condition and assembled near the farm land and it can be assembled by youth the youth themselves This farm machine is now patented and tested with two variants. Basically uh, two variants. Uh, one is a electrical model kyunki uh, it is a which trolley you know basically it's uh, mounted on a trolley or a diesel driven uh, farm machine. A three cylinder engine hai bada diesel engine nahi hai maximum it is about 100 kg. So the rest of the machinery will take another 100 kg so maximum 200 सौ किलोग्राम के अंदर अंदर यह हमारा डीजल बेस्ड फार्म मशीन भी इट्स वेइंग ओनली टू दैट मच एंड ऑफकोर्स ट्रॉली माउंटेड इलेक्ट्रिकल मॉडल वेरियंट जो है और भी तो कम है इट कैन बी यू नो इट इट इज इन द रेंज ऑफ यू नो एटी फाइव किलोग्राम्स मे बी इवन मच लेस Dr Jay Kumar's company Jakaru Technologies has collaborated with the Northeast Institute of Science and Technology Jorhat and Northeast Council or NEC and other agencies from the northeastern states. The main purpose of the collaboration is to train youth and employ them for the rollout of the machines across the northeast of India. Me chief secretary sabhi chief secretary ko likha hai unko samjhaya phone pe baat karke lekin students itna forthcoming nahi tha. Uh, जब नॉर्थ ईस्ट काउंसिल ने स्पॉन्सरिंग किया था वी मेड इट फ्री बिकॉज ये रेसिडेंशियल होना जरूरी है एंड दिस ट्रेनिंग इज नॉट लाइक दी स्किल ट्रेनिंग स्किल मिशन ट्रेनिंग स्किल मिशन ट्रेनिंग में तो आप देखते हैं तो 60 पर्सन आर इन अ बैच दिस इज बहुत हैंड्स ऑन होना जरूरी था इनफैक्ट पीपल हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू टेक अ डायमेंशन यू नो इनफैक्ट लर्निंग प्रोसेस इज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस यू नो फॉर एक्चुअली मेकिंग मशीन बहुत सारा चीज़ें सीखने को मिलता है हमारा टेक्नोलॉजी हो है फ्रीली ट्रांसफर करके नाउ द यूथ विल मेक यूज ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देन मेक अ लाइवलीहुड अपॉर्चुनिटी आउट ऑफ इट 
So far, 20 youngsters have been trained at the center, each undergoing six months of practical and theoretical training in the assembly, repair and installation of the farm machines. All the young technicians are being paid a monthly stipend and are proud of the work they are doing. Second batch me, jo bhi first batch me train hua tha, unko stipend bhi hum de rahe within the project, and stipend will be given from the project funds. We came together with this objective ki hum is region me jo youth hain, unka skill set improvise kaise kar sakte hain taaki wo employable ho jaye, business start kar sake. Iske liye bahut zaruri hai ki hum ek har ek personality ko bahut pari ki se samjhe. कि उसके वीकनेसेस क्या हैं स्ट्रेंथ्स क्या हैं साइकी क्या है पर्सनालिटी क्या है वो किस बैकग्राउंड से आते हैं उनमें किस चीज को करने की ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट है द ट्रेनीज आर फ्रॉम वेरियस नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया दे आर बीइंग ग्रूम्ड टू मेक श्योर दैट द फार्म मैकेनाइजेशन इकोसिस्टम बीइंग डेवलप्ड बाय डॉक्टर जय कुमार इज एस्टैब्लिश्ड सक्सेसफुली इन देयर स्टेट्स 3 महीने के अंदर अंदर वी आर नाउ प्लानिंग टू गो टू फोर ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स हमने डिसाइड डिसाइड भी कर चुके हैं कहाँ कहाँ जाना है और टू कम्युनिटी ओन्ड वर्कशॉप कम्युनिटी वर्कशॉप्स इन ईच ऑफ दिस फोर स्टेट्स एट वर्कशॉप्स विच आर सेटअप एस्टैब्लिश विच आर रन बाय द यूथ हुम वी ट्रेन आर सेल्स वे आर मेकिंग अ फॉर्म मशीन इट इज अ ट्रॉली माउंटेड हैंड पोल दिस मशीन कैन बी यूज इन ग्रोविंग वेजिटेबल्स ग्रोविंग सीरियल्स डोमेस्टिक एंड एंड हाउस नेट आदमी से काम करता है और ज़्यादा एफर्ट लगता है और वो ये इस मशीन से काम करेगा तो थोड़ा और हम लोग को टाइम वेस्ट नहीं होगा और थोड़ा आसान होगा The center's managers are aware of the mission at hand and are ensuring the team of trainees turns out to be change makers in their own states. जब आए थे फिर ट्रेनिंग खत्म होते वक्त उनका जो एटीट्यूड है पर्सनालिटी है उनका जो कॉन्फिडेंस है किस तरह का ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन उनका जो लाइफ में आया है तो ये खुद और वो अगर किसी और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ अटैच होते हैं तो भी वहाँ पे वो बेटर वर्क कर पाएंगे तो वी आर टारगेटिंग दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टीम एक्टिविटीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ लीडरशिप उनके स्किल्स पे हम काम करते हैं तो वो एक ग्रोथ हमने देखी है जो कॉन्फिडेंस एक बच्चे का है जब वो आया है ट्रेनिंग की बिगिनिंग में और जो जब वो फिनिश करके जाता है दैट्स कमेंडेबल तो आई थिंक दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू The trainees have successfully acquired knowledge and skills encompassing machine design, DIY technologies and innovative product designs. They are being taken through mentoring, skill development and the dissemination of progressive manufacturing processes. Ye hamare paas jo product hai hum unko wo sikha rahe hain par hum uske pure mechanics mein jaate hain. We teach them ki wo shuru kahan se hota hai uski roots kya hain. To unki प्रॉपर अबिलिटीज डेवलप हो रही हैं जिसको वो और कहीं जाकर अप्लाई करके नए नए प्रोडक्ट्स बना सकते हैं दे आर ऑल्सो बींग टॉप सॉफ्ट स्किल्स इन मैनेजमेंट सो दैट दे कैन बी लीडर्स इन देर ओन राइट कभी कुछ हो गया तो मेडिसिन वगैरह भी दे देते हैं खाने पीने का भी कभी बीमार है तो हम खुद से बोलते हैं कि ये मत खाओ वो मत खाओ ये ध्यान रखते हैं Imparting skills in a structured environment is something Dr. Jayakumar Karupuswami is quite conversant with. Since 2015, he has been the president of the India Skillpedia Foundation and knows how to carve out raw talent into tangible skill sets that can be useful for the society. Key contributors to the initiative's success include community engagement, collaboration with government agencies and partnerships with industry stakeholders for the supply of original equipment manufacturer or OEM parts. For efficient implementation, Dr. Jaya Kumar also has a workshop for the farm machine manufacturing in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. So we have a workshop in Coimbatore also. Coimbatore workshop mein Coimbatore mein is bahut bahut sara material available hai very easily. Gowati may be available, but it's a little difficult. You know, you have to look for places. Coimbatore, it's an industrial city. Almost all things, you know, and even a gear. Supposing you want to get a, a gear made, you know, you can give it a gear hobbing machine. It can be outsourced, and you can get it. While the patent in the USA has been approved, more patents in UK and Europe are awaited. The machinery is ready. The testing is done, and the workforce for implementation is all set. 
With the demand for machines growing and investors lining up, Dr. Jay Kumar Karupuswamy's vision for a productive hill farming ecosystem and increased farm incomes seems closer to reality than ever before. I was around 15 years old at that time. So I started rescuing the dogs and I brought all of them to my home only. So then that's when I actually decided that if I start a sanctuary for the rescue animals, then I'll be able to help animals more in an organized way. Let's move on to our next category of animal welfare. The winner, M. Sai Vignesh's Almighty Animal Sanctuary, is a shining example for people to emulate. Here's the full story. The bustling coastal city and the capital of Tamil Nadu, Chennai has a great history of men and women working selflessly for the community. Not very far from Chennai is Thiruvallur hometown of the revered poet saint Thiruvallur. His writings on non-violence, kindness to animals and service to society has inspired one young man who is a tireless animal rights activist and a caregiver for animals in need. M. Sai Vignesh was a resident of Chennai but life brought him to Thiruvallur. His journey began under exceptional circumstances. The 2015 Chennai flood left many animals injured and distressed. As a 15-year-old, Vignesh followed his instincts and rescued many dogs, puppies and even birds during the floods. That was when he discovered that his love and concern for animals was deep-seated. I was around 15 years old at that time. So I started rescuing the dogs and I brought all of them to my home only. But that actually created a lot of issues with the house owners and neighbours and also between 2015 and 2019, we literally had to shift to over eight houses. So then that's when I actually decided that if I start a sanctuary for the rescued animals, then I'll be able to help animals more in an organized way. So I got help from my parents. A soft corner for animals became a passion and life's calling in a very short time. This required Sai to be resourceful and strong in the face of resistance within the neighborhood. But today, with the support of many and generosity of his admirers, Sai has been able to establish an animal shelter that he calls home. We go to the spot and complete all the formalities and rescue the animal. And if the animal needs immediate help, then we immediately rush the animal to the nearby veterinary hospital and give them all the treatment which they need. Then we bring them to a sanctuary. Sanctuary has been like really helpful in raising awareness about compassion to the people because to whenever an animal like large animal or dog gets hit by a vehicle or if they get into some illness or suffering on the road. When we rescue them and bring them to our sanctuary and give them all the medical treatment and everything they need. In his journey, Sai's grandfather was a big supporter and pitched in with his pension until his death in 2018. But veterinary hospital bills were increasing and so were the expenses for local care of animals, wiping out Sai's funds each month. And that's when he started reaching out to animal lovers on the social media to increase the circle of support for his noble cause. Thanks to the social media, since we regularly post awareness videos and our rescue stories and all, people actually know that we exist and this sanctuary exists. So whenever they spot an injured or sick animal, they immediately call us and they report to us. People are not actually that connected to the animals, but when we tell them the stories of the animals and how they also experience everything like love, affection, fear, pain and suffering just like us humans, then many people have understood. The remarkable difference I have seen is since the last one year, I have got more than 500 responses saying that uh, they actually felt bad about uh, seeing the animals suffer and they have made changes to their lifestyle and reducing animal cruelty. They have also made changes to their diet and food. Initially, the struggle for survival was such that Sai and his family had to shift eight houses in three years. Finally, a kind animal lover donated a piece of his land for his almighty animal sanctuary, which started welcoming not just dogs, but all animals. He started getting volunteers and expanded his caregiving team. 
फार्म फाइव ईयर कम्प्लीट हो रहे हैं मेरा पूरा एनिमल को फर्स्ट हम उठा के पूरा डाक को चेकिंग करके आया बाद में खाना रेडी कर रहे हैं डाक को बाद में मारे मेडिसिन काउ को मेडिसिन देना है इसीलिए ऑल टाइम काम चल रहा है एनिमल के लिए मैं चार साल से सेंचुरी में काम कर रहा हूँ मैं सुबह छः बजे आता हूँ फिर खाना पूरा एनिमल्स को खाना पीना देता हूँ The sanctuary works efficiently. The stressed animals are rescued, housed in comfortable living enclosures and fed well. The staff ensures that the animals recover well and medical assistance is provided through veterinary doctors. Wo ek animal se accident ho ke aata hai idhar. Aane ke baad baithta hai. Ha sone ke baad pet bharti ho jayega. Yaar yaar farm ho jayega. Usko kya medicine dena? Raat ko 12 baje, 1 baje, 2 baje pe bhi hum dekh ke aake ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स से इधर ही रहता है रात में जहाँ उसको देख के देख के एक घंटे छोड़ के एक घंटे छोड़ के हम आके देख के पूरा उसके क्या ट्रीटमेंट देना वो दे देगा हेलो आई एम साई विकेश फ्रॉम ऑल मीडिया एम कैटरेस्ट हाउ मे हेल्प यू टूडे सो वेर इज दिमल राइट नाउ ओके ओके आई विल रीड लिखा It's a new day every day at the Almighty Animal Shelter. From a rescue call to an animal ambulance duty or patiently working for an animal's recovery, there is never a dull day for the 15 animal caregivers at the sanctuary. Personal satisfaction is there beyond the treatment and uh, mind is very peaceful here. After uh, coming here, my treatment of aspect of uh, treating the animals. Actually, I'm treating the animal means uh, not the injection given, uh, it's not mechanically. Uh, I'm peace, peaceful and uh, it's related to the soul. I'm very happy to here. Since 2020, Sai's team has rescued hundreds of large animals from accidents, illegal trafficking, and slaughter. Often soft targets for butchers looking for such animals, Sai and his team have to fight off such elements, resulting in enmities. But grit and determination has prevailed, resulting in some proud moments. We have been able to rescue like thousands of animals. from horrible conditions and give them a second chance at their life we have been able to get hundreds of homeless dogs and cats uh, like adopted we have been able to find adopters for them and the another thing would be is we have been able to conduct vaccination drives and vaccination camps for like literally more than 2000 dogs since 2015 One aspect of Sai's work has been to fight ignorance and challenge animal abusers in court Nearly 100 cases are pending against animal abusers before trial courts, district courts, high court and the supreme court. Apart from fighting injustice towards animals, Sai is focusing on creating awareness for animal rights and involving the community for the greater objective of animal human coexistence. When we go to a police station to file a case against animal abusers, not all police officers are sensitized about the animal laws. Like they wouldn't know about that. That's so why I decided to actually conduct animal law training program for the police officials. So I started my first training session in 2021, the Tamil Nadu Police Academy. And till now, we have been able to sensitize more than 2,000 police officials, including DSPs, sub inspectors, inspectors. and assistant commissioners and and like even the constable levels so we have been able to uh, empower them with the knowledge about animal laws because when they themselves see with their own eyes or when they get a complaint they will be able to swiftly act more on facilities at the sanctuary include a large animal icu separate enclosures for recovery and housing distressed animals all these departments require separate staff and a dedicated mindset While a lot of work is happening on ground to save animals, Sai believes without sensitizing the society, no real gains can be achieved. Conducting animal law sensitization program for police officers, creating awareness on social media about being compassionate to all living beings is an ongoing process. For Sai and the Almighty Animal Shelter, there's a lot more to be done, but a splendid start has been made to start work on the next set of objectives. First thing would be to expand the sanctuary as much as possible and give safe home to more animals like hundreds and thousands of animals that's one first goal and the second goal is to establish a 24 bar 7 free veterinary hospital in our sanctuary because unfortunately there are not many 24 hour 
ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ హాస్పిటల్స్ హియర్ సో మై మెయిన్ గోల్ ఇస్ టు బిల్డ్ అ ఫ్రీ వెటనరీ హాస్పిటల్ వేర్ ఇట్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ద స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ లైక్ స్కాన్ ఎక్స్రే బ్లడ్ వర్క్ మెషిన్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫెసిలిటీస్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ అన్ ఇన్పేషెంట్ ఫెసిలిటీ లైక్ వీ హ్యావ్ అన్ ఇన్పేషెంట్ ఫెసిలిటీ రైట్ నౌ బట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బీ లైక్ మోర్ అడ్వాన్స్ అండ్ హైటెక్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు హెల్ప్ అండ్ మోర్ యానిమల్స్ At the moment, Sai Vignesh's team takes care of 230 animals regardless of their species. They have rescued thousands of animals, administered hundreds of vaccine doses and sensitized a large police force in Tamil Nadu. The journey that started in 2015 has many more milestones to achieve. A mighty start has been made which now needs to have the society's blessing for a compassionate coexistence between humans and animals. Stay tuned for more such stories from Times Now Amazing Indians next week as we shine a light on winners from other categories. Stay tuned.